Many of you guys have asked for a leveling system in the past, and so here it finally is. Now, this leveling system will not be based off of JSON. It will actually be using a proper database, and we're actually going to be getting into a couple in-depth things, such as creating your own levels, or I mean level card, using images instead of just like a basic embed, actually making a leaderboard, making it a bit customizable to at least a certain extent, and all of that. So I hope you enjoy today's video. It's not going to be, by the way, all in this video or else it would be like two hours long. I'm going to split it up over the course of multiple different videos. So in today's video, all we're going to be covering is how you can actually, I guess, create the leveling system itself, which will add levels for you. And the system that will actually, I guess, like a command that will show you which level you are and the XP that you currently have. Let's start off by just importing a couple of things. So we want to do import async io. Actually, no, we won't need async io. I think import io sqlite would be more fit. And then import let's say random. Right there. So if you don't have io sqlite installed already, you just want to do pip install sqlite. Simple as that and it'll already install for me you can see i already have it installed and that's what's going to handle our database also this video will work on any fork at least at the moment i'm using discord.py as i explained in my discord.py's back video but if you have nextcode pycore disnake edpy anything really it'll work with it just change around the imports and yeah but now what we're going to do is in the side or on ready command we're going to create an attribute so set attribute and the attribute is going to be a bot and it's going to be called db and essentially what it's going to do is it's going to be called aio sqlite dot connect database.db but instead of having database.db here we're going to call it levels.db like so because you could change this out right you could have it bot.db dot out in a level something like that i'm just going to keep it bot.db so just so it will be easier and we don't have to constantly create new connections every time we have an on message because lots of things are going to be flowing through here so i feel like it's just best to have it connect on startup and then we could go from there but now after we have that we can do async with bot dot db dot cursor and Inside here, and we're gonna keep this as cursor. Inside here, we're gonna do await cursor dot execute. And what we're gonna actually execute is create table. We're gonna create a table inside level.db if not exists. And we're just gonna call this levels. And then inside here, we can actually put in whatever we'd like. So here, we're going to have first thing is level. So whatever the user's level is, and that's going to be an integer. Like so, and then we're going to have XP, which is also going to be, you guessed it, an integer. And then we're going to have the user, which is also going to be the integer. If you ask the cal, that would work. Basically, uh... I guess we're going to store the person's ID and then we can, what if we need to grab the, I guess, the object of the user, we can easily just do bot dot fetch member or, yeah. And then lastly, we're going to have guild, which is going to be, you guessed it, integer. So now we should have something that looks like this. And I should also create the levels.db, I guess, just file. Don't put anything in here. Just leave it empty and it'll automatically connect to it. Now, if I actually were to run this, nothing would really, nothing special would really happen. It would just say bot is up and ready. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. The reason that's happening is because this should be a wait. Yeah, yo, connect. See, now if I were to run it. So make sure you have this. I'll just add the wait. And now nothing pops up. And I also have an extension. If you search up SQLite, if you are using it, you'll see that. There's a SQLite, I guess, extension. It's got a million downloads almost. It allows you to just see your level. So 
if I do open database, I'm going to choose level.db after you download it. You'll actually be able to see in the XQL Explorer that we have something, right? So I could view it on the side. All of that, it's really cool. So now we know that this table is actually created. Now we're going to create another event, so bot.event. And this is going to be the on message event. Okay, so inside here, do if message dot author dot author dot bot, we're just gonna return it because we don't want to give bots levels they really don't care about. It. And then we're gonna do author. We're gonna create two variables. One's gonna be called author, and that's gonna equal message author. And the next one's gonna be called guild, and it's gonna be called message dot guild. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did here is async with and we're just gonna connect to the actual d database and then we're gonna select something so here you can i have i guess i have um i have, have copilot but i'm not gonna just tab this because i feel like then you guys would have to read up a lot so i'm actually gonna type it out myself and there are some couple of things that i would like to change but so we're gonna do select and inside the select we're gonna only select xp from levels where and inside of here we're going to do is we're going to do user equals question mark and guild equals question mark and we're just going to pass those in like so make sure you add an extra comma at the end okay and that's going to equal xp so xp equals away cursor dot fetch one and then we're essentially just going to copy this but instead of having xp we're going to grab the level itself like so and then we can do level equals away cursor dot fetch one so now that we have the variables, we can do if not xp or not level, then we're gonna actually just create it. So await cursor execute insert into levels and just this right level xp user the values and then we want them to start off with zero. So everything zero, clean plate like so. So what this will basically do is if the user isn't actually in the database, then we're just gonna add them to the database. Or we can just do await bot dot commit for that. Okay, now that we have that, what we can do afterwards is add a try statement. So we're gonna try xp equals xp zero. What we'll do is we'll grab the first value because this will array return us an array or the JSON data format. So, or like, sorry, like a dictionary. So we just want to grab the first value, which is actually the value that's applicable towards us. There's going to be no other values. So yeah, we're going to try that, but let's say that just doesn't work. Now this might happen if there's actually nothing in there or it's just set to zero. So then we can actually catch that error and that's going to return as a type error. And we're just going to set those both to zero. And then if level, now this is actually the logic behind the leveling system. This is where you, you're able to change things around to however you like it. And like, you don't have to follow my exact basis, but I'm just gonna do XP equals random in one to three. So if they're not level five yet, then every single message they send will add XP to them. And it can add anywhere from one to three. And I guess that's just the randomism. And then we can also do cursor dot execute. You can mess around with all these settings, by the way, because this is the one part that you can change about it. This, like, you need it. This one you can change around to like get the as much as XP as you'd like. So we're just gonna do update levels to set XP. We're just gonna update the XP where user, and this is just already we already know this. It's really simple like that. And then we're gonna let's say they have more than five right so then if we have that then we can do rand and this is how we're gonna do like this is how exact um we're gonna actually decide how much um they have how many experience points they get or how much levels they have to do to move up and this adds like a sort of randomness factor to it so i found that doing whatever the level is and then dividing it by four so like if it's a whole num and grabbing the whole number. So let's say they have, I don't know, they have 16 levels, right? So if you divide that by four, then you get four. But let's say they have 15, right? 
if you were to divide that, you would get an odd number or a decimal or with the remainder. The division, make sure you only get, I mean, you only return an integer value. So then it would actually return three, which is why, what I want. And then what you can do if rand equals equals one, then we're actually gonna give them the level. So we can just copy and paste this. And once again, we'll give them anywhere between one and three. So the higher level you are, the less chance you have of leveling up faster. And that's just how it works. So we have like a progressive aspect to it now. But now after we have that, we wanna do if XP is greater than or equal to 100 because that's gonna happen. People are gonna break the XP barrier, or like 100. So then we wanna convert that XP into a level. So how we're gonna do that is level equals level plus one, I know. Or even you could do plus equals one. And then we can do await cursor dot execute. And we're gonna update levels. So set level is where so hello to question mark where user and you get this right and we're just gonna update the level but then what we're also gonna update is oh wait cursor.execute set xp and we're gonna reset their xp now you could technically just converge this into one but for the sake of the video i made it into two so it's just a bit easier to explain for you guys and now last thing is we're gonna do await message dot channel dot send and it's just going to be author dimension has leveled up to whatever level they are. So we can even just board face this. Oh, I guess level. And yeah, so that's basically it, right? Last thing we want to do is you can break out of the, I guess, curse thing. And we can just do Oh wait, db bot dot db dot commit. No need for this. And yeah, after we have that, that's basically our core, right? This is gonna be the main part of our thing. Now, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna really quickly, I guess, create a temporary just level command, right? So to check our level that we're actually at. So we're gonna do aliases, right? So one of our aliases is gonna be OVL. We can also do rank, rank. We can also do just R. And yeah, this is however many you want to do, you can. And it's actually going to be called level. We're going to just pass in CTX and member. And now that's going to be equal to discord.member equals none. And then we're going to do a swift check if member equals none or if member is none member equals ctx.member or ctx.author simple as that now what we want to do is we can actually just copy this line of code and we're going to grab two things just like we did here so we're actually we can actually just copy this entire line of code I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys to follow along with. And so, yeah. And then change all of this to just member and then guild, uh, just CTX before. So ctx.guild.id. Should be easy. And then now that we have that, we actually have two variables. And these two are gonna be the XP and level, and that's what we're gonna be working with to create our embed. So we're gonna do em equals discord embed, and then do title equals, and we can do something like member.name level. Okay, and then we're gonna add a description, and which will actually go over the level. So this. I guess actually does does it perfectly. We're gonna we're gonna remove the curse. I mean color, but here this should do it. And yeah, basically this will just display the level they're at and the XP that they have. 
Now this is temporary, okay? So don't like sweat or like try very hard on this embed, make it look really nice because soon we will be transferring over to an image, so which will just look a lot nicer. And yeah. Lastly, we can do await ctx.send embed equals um. And yeah, that's basically it. Believe it or not, you just created just the basics of a leveling command. So let's click this run button uh, and let's hop into Discord. Okay, so here I am in my Discord, link down below in the description. Join if you want, I suppose. But what we're going to actually do is we're just going to run help. And so you can see we have a couple of commands here. So we have the help command itself and level. And so any level, so we can actually just run level. And there we go, it shows my level. So glow six level, and then XP is five, and my level is zero. Now I can keep on sending things. So subscribe to glow stick. Yes, glow stick is amazing. Once again, I'm just blowing my own trumpet here. You subscribe, you're epic. Eric, I know you're actually Eric now. You're not epic, you're Eric. You join the Discord server, Eric. We're still going with the Eric thing. And if I were to check my level now, it's higher, right? 14. And that would keep on going. So let me just spam a little bit. Okay, so I spammed a bunch, but now if I send some extra something, in time now I should level up. Alright, so we're still super close, I guess. We're really. Oops. Any second, and there you can see glow has leveled up to level one. So now, if I were to run my level thing, it would say level one, and my XP is now reset. And yeah, that's basically it. This is the first episode of how to create a leveling bot using Discord.py or any other fork. I really hope you enjoyed. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Till next time, glow stick out. See ya.